for me. I didn't know you were going to be sagging. I thought you gone back to school. I did, but it was rubbish. Anyway, once you've been school on a day like this. Great, isn't it? I woke up the early with the sun coming in. You heard the birds singing. It's great. Yeah. Look at you, though. What are you dressed like that for? You think it's the middle of winter? Well, I'd be no good wearing gear like yours, would I? Why not? Let the sun in. Let the air get to your body. Throw the dust away. And where do I have the gear? Are you not going robbing again, are you? Oh, well, why not? I wouldn't mind if you robbed stuff that you wanted. Well, you just feed stuff because it's there. No, I don't. What about the cheese grater the other day? That was just for practice. I'm going after the real stuff today. Dressed like that? Yeah. <laughs> don't you think you look a bit suspicious dressed like that when the sun's dragging the flags? You take no notice of you, Sammy. I could have robbed the place soft the other day. No one would have seen me. It's dead easy. There's nothing to it. They'll catch hold you, Roller. You do something wrong, they'll bring you down in the end. I'll get lost, you're just a chicken. All right, Mum, I was watching that. Well, you're not watching it now. You get some clothes on. What are you doing that for? It's freezing. Freezing? It's a lovely day. Look, look at it. It's a lovely day today. Here comes the sun, little darling. It's been a long time. Go away, long. you're Ed Case, Mum. Ed Case, Ed Case, am I? I'll show you Ed Case. That will. <laughs> <laughs> right, go on upstairs and get some clothes on. We're not sitting around looking at that thing today. What's up? I've decided, Terry. What? We're going to decorate. I've decided. Come on, we'll get the walls stripped and we'll go out and get some new paper. We're going to make this place look like it should look. Why, Mum? Why, son? I'll tell you why. Because it's a lovely day. Because if I sit in that chair any longer, I'll be an old woman this time next year. Because I've decided we're going to make a start. Here. Yeah. Come on. All right, Mum. Um, you know what Sammy said about the tablets? He said they're not good for you, Mum. Yeah, and our Sammy's right. That's the end of them. What are you going to do if you need one? I've decided I'm not going to need one. Right, now you get dressed. Oh, I'm going. Listen, Rollo. Why don't you stay here today? What for? What? Because cause I'm worried about you. What do you want to worry about me for? Because you need someone to worry about you. Go away. What do your mum and dad say, eh? Do you know you're thieving in the shops? Wouldn't say nothing, would they? My ma goes robbing sometimes. She tells me she's paid for the stuff. But I know she hasn't. And my old fella, he wouldn't care. He doesn't care about nothing. I bet he does, Rollo. I bet he cares about you. How do you know, eh? I just do. If he knew you were robbing in the shops, I bet he'd be really upset. You're mental. Your old fella should be keeping an eye on you. If I was your dad, I'd knock some kinds of sunshine out of you. That'd stop you. I'd sort you out if I was your old fella. Yeah, well, you're not my old fella, are you? So shoot it. Bleeding going on at me. What's it got to do with you, eh? Just telling you, aren't I? Yeah, well, don't. What's going on about me, old fella? What about yours? Walked out years ago, didn't he? Don't talk about my dad. He didn't walk out on us, did he? He might just as well done, though, mightn't he? Mightn't you care about him? He doesn't look after you too well, does he, eh? I'm going. I'm not listening to this. Rollo! Get lost. Beat him! Stay here, Rollo. With you? I'd rather be in a swimming pool with yours. Morning, Sammy. All right, Mr D. Any spaces left? Hold on, I'll just look for you. No! Oh? Hey, let's have the radio on. We haven't had music in this house for years. Where is it? No. Ah. It's pushed. Oh, well. Oh, we should have a music centre. I'd love one of those. Oh, I'd like one myself, son. 
Music all day long. Records as well as the radio. And tapes, Mum. Do you accept these in them now? <sighs> you look at Mum. You're getting to that age now, aren't you? Starting to take an interest in music. It'll be the girls next, won't it? Go away. <laughs> ah, you will. When I first started listening to music, it was the Liverpool groups that were all the rage. I had a little transistor that my man bought me. I used to listen to it under the bedclothes at night. Did you? I used to go and watch all the groups. They had clubs in those days for over at dinner time, and you could get in for one and six. We used to go dancing and watching the groups, me and the girls. We should have been at school, but we didn't care. <laughs> oh, I'll move this, Terry. You see what it is. <laughs> yellow. A nice, bright yellow. Huh? It's the postie. You've got a sign for it. What is it? Well, we might have come up on the pools, but that's not very likely, seeing as we don't do the pools. <laughs> Go on, Mum. Tell us some more about the olden days. About when you were a girl and that. Go on. Oh, my. It's a summons. They're taking me to court. How's it going then, Sammy? How's business been? Okay, Mr. Day. Good. Glad to hear it. Always glad to hear of a business colleague doing well. I've been thinking about this cafe, Mr. Day. About what? About oh, the cafe. You know, oh. the restaurants in this place. Yes, yes, I know. <laughs> well, it's nice to meet a young lad with initiative. Very good. You're giving us some force, haven't you, Mr. Day? A lot. Oh, yes. Because, listen, I've had this great idea. You know, like in most cafes, you know, you go in with children, little children. Well, what happens, eh? They're not interested in sitting at tables, are they? Start crying and making a noise, don't they? And start upsetting other customers. So what we do is, we partition up a bit of the restaurants. See, like this area over here? And we put toys in there so the kids can play while the grown-ups are eating. A play space for the kids. Simple, isn't it? Yes, well, you've certainly been thinking, haven't you? That's all it takes, Mr. D. A bit of thought. Yes. Mind you, that's when the start. We have special Very menus. Very good. Very good. But I must be off. I must get on. Oh, we business people must keep on, eh? <laughs> Full day for me today. See you later. You give some thought, eh? Oh, yes, yes. I certainly will. Here we go, then. Star, Mr. B. Where's my tablets? Down the box. Oh. You don't need them, Mum. Don't I? Who's going to pay for this, eh? Where am I going to find the money to pay a fine? There's no point. No point. You try and get off your feet and... What happens? It's not your worry, Mum. It's Sammy's. Let him pay for it. <laughs> don't cry, Mum. <laughs> Mum, don't cry. <laughs> Sammy's got 100 quid upstairs. Are you trying to be funny? No. Honestly, he saved it up. You're joking. I'm not. Come on. Come on. I'll show you. He's a dreamer. Cornwall, us going to Cornwall. Oh, I felt so good this morning and all. I didn't want to mope around. But as soon as you start looking up, you get knocked back again. Oh, what I could do with this. Don't cover the fine, man. Yeah. Mind you. It takes ages for a court case to come up, doesn't it? What? We're never going to get to Cornwall, are we? I don't know. 
blow it. Come on. We? I wanted to feel good today. Well, I'm going to. But you've got no tablets, man. I know. But I've got this. Haven't I? But that's our Sonny's. Well, why did he save it? He saved it for us, didn't he? So we could go away. Well, I don't want to go away. I want to make this place look like it should and bring a bit of life into the place. Ah, oh, Sammy will understand. Come on. Touching nothing honest. It's um we watch his bust. Your mum let me the clock to tell the time. And what in the name of God do you want with plant pots? Don't know. That's the worst thing about this job, son. Most of the people I catch have taken stuff that's useless to them. Wally, why do you risk it for something you don't need? Don't know. Let's take this lad to Mr. Benedict's office, shall we, Wally? Have we stole something? Sammy, it's got a cassette player and a record deck. Where did it come from? Uh, look, Sammy, I, I know you were saving that money for us. I know you wanted to make me happy, but, uh, well, this makes me happy, son. Sammy, my mum hasn't taken the tablets all day. Spent it. Hey, hey, we've got something for you as well, you know. Here, yeah, look. It's trash. All of it's trash. You spent my money on trash. It was for Cornwall. Oh, come on, it, Sammy. How the hell are we ever going to get to Cornwall? You're living in your head, Sammy. Now, isn't it better to do something sensible with the money? At least this way we all get a lift from it. And we need one. Look, we're being prosecuted, Sammy. I've got to go to court because you've been sagging school. But I saved that money. I worked for it and saved it. And you just blown it on a pile of trash. What have you done? Well, at least I've made our Terry happy. But how long? What are you going to do when you get bored of it, eh? Oh, come on, Sammy. I'm never going to do anything for you. Take you anywhere, if this is the way you carry on. Sammy, there's no need for this. Isn't there? Well, you should have gone to school and school? then... School? What I did? The money I earned? That was more important than going to school. If you'd gone to school, it'd never have happened. No wonder me dad left. You what? He was right. Me dad was right. got 50. Can you change that? Uh, hold on. Oh. 
Look, give me that. There, you keep the change, right? Well, I must be off. All go in my business, Sammy. Listen, Mr. D. Have you made your mind up yet? What about? Look, I'm in an awful rush. What about? About the coffee? About this place? Oh, look, uh, Sammy, I mean, um... You're gonna do it, aren't you? You're gonna build a coffee? Like you said, with me running it? No, no, I, I didn't say that. You said it. And aren't you gonna do it? Oh, look, Sammy, uh, as far as I know, and, uh, well, it's not my department, really. As far as I know, this place is coming down. It'll probably be replaced by an extension for the car park, the multi-story. A car park? How oh, good's a car park gonna be? You might be able to get a job in it. Yes, they'll, they'll need people in the booths, and uh, if I put in a word... No, no, you can't do it. But it's not me that's doing it, it's my... my company. It's your company. You tell them. Well, it's... Uh, it's not my company in that sense. What? Look, I'm going to be very late. Tell me what you mean. Tell me. Well, well what I mean is... Oh, look, Sammy. You didn't think... Well, what I mean is people say that, don't they? My company, my firm. But that doesn't mean it's their company in that sense. You don't own your company. When I say my company, Sammy, well, what I mean is the company I work for. You liar. You lied. You want me to believe it's your company that you own it? Look, Sammy... Don't. Don't give me any more of your lies. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to deceive you. I'm sorry, just something I've said for years. My company. It's not a lie. No, if people want to think I'm a director, it, it's up to them, but... It's not a lie. It's, it's just something I've always said. It doesn't hurt anybody. I'm going to be late. Get out. Were you talking to him? What? Oh, yeah. Why? He's the fellow who's going to build the restaurant I was talking about. Get lost. Him. He's the doorman in one of the stores. No, he's not. He is. He took me in yesterday. I got caught. Prosecuting me. And me. For not going to school. <laughs> Head case. When you go in, when he warned you? I don't know. I just pretend it didn't matter. <laughs> I always said you were a loony. Is that what that fella told you? That he was going to build a cafe and you believed him? <laughs> hey, Rola. Do you fancy coming to Cornwall? Come on, pull into that place. We'll get some stuff there. Got no money. You've got fingers, though. Come on, pull over. Don't think I know how to stop it. Don't be stupid. You just slow down and press the brake. Come on, you're all right. There's no coppers around.
not up. There's nothing to it. You were great, weren't you? We're going to live well in Cornwall with you carrying on like that, aren't we? Yeah. Not hungry. I'm starving. Oh. The great geese. Go on, tell us about Cornwall again. All about the surfing and that. Go on, it's great, that. He's there. Uh... Well, go on. He's there, coves and sandy beaches. And we're going to live there, swimming every day. Oh, what? I can't wait. Tell us about the smugglers there in the old days. I'd love to be a smuggler. Go on, tell us about that. No. Oh, go on. I love hearing all about that. You're great at telling it. Yeah. I'm very good at telling stories, Rolo. Sorry. What about? It's just another lie. We'd never get to Cornwall. You what? It's stupid. Where are you going? Where are you going? This isn't the way to Cornwall. We're going home, Roller. Sammy, we're not. We're going to Cornwall. No, we're not. What are you doing? Look stupid, you loony. What are you doing, Sammy? Turn round, will you? Turn round. Going home, and you're going to court, and I'm going to court. And that's real, that is. Mm -hmm. 